Hoyt's pit crew proves to be as speedy as their driver. They give him a clean windshield, a drink of water, and a full tank of fuel in 22 seconds. Bill Cheeseburg goes out on the 161st lap, his overworked engine in fragments. This fastest 500 has lost 19 of the 33 starters. Hoyt's relentless pace has put him in position to lap second place Roger Ward. With but four laps left in the race, Don Branson retires from competition with a broken clutch. Having outdistanced all of his competition, Hoyt sweeps through the final lap and takes the checkered flag. Roger Ward, a lap behind him, heads for second place honor. A.J. Foyt steers toward Victory Lane, where sincere good wishes and the winner's pot of gold await him. His record speed of 147.350 miles per hour will spur new efforts, new products, and new strategy in the competitive world of racing, just as surely as it will point to new designs for everyday transportation. But at this moment, A.J. is oblivious of all but that for the second time, he has won the Indianapolis 500.